right. We have the right to walk them in. No, you're willfully obstructing the highway yeah, at the moment. Okay, because it's, 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 it's willfully obstructing the highway. The reason being is it's not flowing. You are preventing well, the highway from flowing. This is why when we walk it, why not walk alongside it? Because that's the right opportunity. Off. But that's, that's your opportunity to capture the We Just fake, just step to the side. Step to the side. Step to the side no oh, look at that leg. Look at that leg. Oh my god, they're in disgusting conditions, man. Look at you. Look at them. I was walking, then you came into the family and stopped me from walking. So I, 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 I appreciate your answer, but I have got these obligations. Look at this. There's a chicken in here with a broken leg. She's dying. Here. Here she is. Look at her leg. Those chickens are in disgusting conditions. They look traumatized and tortured and anemic. This isn't uncommon. Look at these poor babies. So what happened there, Ed? Every, well, every time we come here, it's the same police officers, and they, they, have, they, they, they quite like me, I think, and they're always saying, they're always trying to have a go at me for doing stuff, but we're legally allowed to walk the trucks, and this is what's, what they don't understand, is like, legally, it's been, we've been told by the police before, in many places, as long as they're, they're moving, yeah. it's not an obstruction. So as long as we allow the truck to keep moving, it doesn't matter how fast, as long as it's moving, it's fine. Okay. Which is why they're not allowed to stop us from doing that. But it really, for some reason, it really winds them up, and, and it kind of just shows priorities and like who they're working for, you know. And so do you feel like that maybe the the owner of the slaughterhouse had a word to them? And oh, they we know that they've talked before. Yeah. They, they, he's they'll, the police spend the whole day chatting to the factory manager. Okay. So you know we know whose side they're on. But you're well within your uh, rights to do that, yeah? This is everything that we do is 100% within our rights to do. Right. So. so keep that in mind, everyone, if they yeah. try to put pressure on you, so. Exactly. Poor thing. Oh, look at this girl here. Oh my god, is she dead? Look at her. She's she looks like she's really dying here. Oh my god. Look at her just lying there. She's nearly dead. Oh my god, they're going to the toilet all over each other. Look at her, this little baby here, she's dying. I can't even stand up properly. She is dying, man. Oh my God. That was absolutely disgusting, man. Oh, that poor girl. So there, there was a lot of chickens die on the way to the slaughterhouse. How you going, mate? A lot of them die on the way to the slaughterhouse, and that was just horrible. She was lying on her back, dying, and they're just shitting all over each other. There's no room in there. They're crammed in there. They look diseased and sick and anemic, terrified. They're just... I don't know. That was really terrifying. Horrible. 
But those poor chickens, man. Sick, innit? That, that she was dying and they were just shitting all over her. Legs, right? Yeah. Bro one had a broken leg, one was laying on her back and she was just had nothing left in her. I went round the other side and I saw a dead one with its leg it literally sticking out of the crate. Was that So, Ed, you've been involved in a few of these vigils, yeah? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Do you see them, the birds coming in in those type of conditions, dying on the way to the slaughterhouse? And yeah, it's just standard. That's what we see in most vigils: is, yeah. is animals dying on the way. And free range, even yeah. Free range, organic. It makes no difference. They all transport in the same in the same lorries and at the same place. So it's almost like this is the end of the line for them, and it's almost better than their life that they've experienced to, to experience the death, yeah. I think deaths are a release for farm animals, it's the, the end of their suffering, especially for chickens, all they've known is suffering and they've never seen sunlight or breathe fresh air and this is their first experience doing so. And um, I think death for them is very much a release because it's the end of a life of pain and misery. Hello sweetheart, it's all right. Look at her, look at her there, she can't even stand up. So this is your first uh, vigil, hey? How are you? How does it make you feel seeing the chickens like that? Well, it's rubbish, obviously. It's you pick up directly on their energy straight away, man, and that's the, I guess that's the difference between seeing it on the screen and seeing it up close, and and the concentrated amount of them up there. That's what shocked me the most is that you look how high it goes, how deep it goes, how many in each crate, and yeah, it hits hard. Yeah. The reality hitting. And they don't look very well, do they? <laughs> no, it's, it's, they don't look well. They they're covered in their own sh uh, shit, and yeah. it's disgusting, really, and. This is the reason why they put it in the middle of nowhere like this because they don't want people seeing it. Yeah. Because most people, like locals, gone by, they say it's disgusting. They, we just spoke to some locals and they said their daughters have stopped eating meat because of this. Yep. Because it's right on their doorstep. And rightly so, hey? Yeah. Rightly exactly, so. Man. Hey guys. How are you? Yeah, um, this is basically the slaughterhouse. I know it is. Yeah, so we're just here to um, bear witness to the chickens. Well, good for you. Yeah, yeah. They should they should close the place down. The consumer can help shut it down by stop buying buying and purchasing meat and yeah. animal products. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they come past our house several times a day. And things disgusting. My daughters won't eat meat now because of it. I do. Really? But I only Seriously? Eat yeah. They won't eat it. What do you guys think? Does it make, make you think different or anything, having that so close to home? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's disgusting, yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. Do. yeah. It makes you see the reality of it instead of the little package on the supermarket Absolutely, show. Yeah. yeah. They can't yeah. hide it there, you know, yeah, yeah. they hide in the supermarkets yeah. on the packaging. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. 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 That's a good thing though, is that so many people like us, we're all, we don't, we don't consume any animal products, yeah, yeah, yeah. we've seen this and yeah, yeah. it's making a change there, making, you know, it's changing the supply yeah. of the farm chain, which is trying to encourage as many people like you thought. Oh, good luck to you, yeah. good luck to you. Power's in our hands, a consumer. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. We can do something yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Beautiful dog, by the way. Yeah. We love dogs, but we treat chickens like this, isn't that true? Exactly. As a society? It's, it's madness. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Animals like you are lucky. <laughs> You're one of the lucky ones. <laughs> hey, mate. Hello. That's got all the entrails and guts and blood and stuff in it. Like I said to you, if you are anticipating something turning up, um, I'm going to be it's honest with you and just say to you, no, it's, appreciate that. it isn't going to happen. Yeah, yeah. No, that's okay. Um, appreciate I'm not that. bluffing you or anything like that. No, because a lot of times, oh, obviously, wait, people do say, oh, they're not coming, they're not coming, all of a sudden they come. So but yeah. See, they go in as birds and they come out as corpses in these meat trucks, chopped up into little pieces. But you know what? By the end, of, at the end of the line, Death is probably better than what they were going through their whole lives because that was just horrible to see. But what do you think of it? What do I think of what? What do you think of the uh, chicken slaughterhouse? 
the conditions of the chicken swap. What do you do? You personally agree with it? I can't. You can't give it. Can't give it yeah, no, I can't oh, give my personal view okay. opinion on it. But what do you think about the fact that society um, eats chickens? I care to record it, mate. So yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to give any comment, mate. Okay. So. All right. But it's not against the law to film this, is it? No, no. it's not against the law. You can, by all means, mate, like I said, we deal with numerous instances where people get their mobile phones out and start filming us. Yeah. Like that. But it's safe to say it's uh, an injustice, isn't it? It is safe to say that. Oh. That's that, that would be a fair analogy, isn't it? But that, that is, it's a fair, it's a fair comment to make that it's an They're injustice. Ending slavery together. Is that what it says? <laughs> Fighting slavery together. Is that what it says? <laughs> it's not this. It's Can I read that? It's, it's regarding a human trafficking. Uh, Ta tra tackling slavery. What other forms of slavery are there? I'm not too sure. All we got was we just got a brief discussion from it whilst I was on my training, um, and that was it. And then they just gave out some lanyards for our warrant cards to have on. Yeah. Um, that's what it was. It's crazy we still enslave humans, yeah? <laughs> well, it's, it's not necessarily slavery like what it was back in the day, it's more working against traffic wheels, extorting yeah. girls yeah. for. Yeah. That's more CSE, child sex exploitation. Yeah. That's a different department, but yeah. We're trying to get extended stuff. to animals. The word it's the biggest well, kind of slavery in the world. Could be one day, eventually. Well, well, yeah. Well, they are slaves. Yeah. Dairy slaves. Worse than, treated worse oh, than any human so. as well. Definitely. Yeah. What would you say to consumers out there? Take, take responsibility for your actions and, and live a life that aligns with your morals, you know? I think anyone, I think anyone who saw this would feel alarmed and would feel upset by the smell and by the feces dripping down and the fact that this animal's dying, animals with broken legs and broken wings, we'd all feel repulsed by it. But the reality is it's only happening because we pay for it to happen. So if it's something that upsets you, then do something about it because it, at the end of the day, it's your fault that they're here in the first place. So That was a realisation realisa for me, it really was. Yeah, and Thanks. me as well. Thanks brother, You're appreciate welcome. that man. Kind of funny, I find it kind of sad Dreams in which I'm dying are the best I've ever She's dying, man. man.